Welcome to Subjective Insights. Today I'm going to have a bit of a, a just the just e kind of self-righteous, well not self-righteous, but a kind of more moralistic kind of video, but moralistic in the sense of how I think certain behaviours of certain people have certain consequences that are against what they actually want. So I mean, this, I'm talking about how some mothers and or some fathers probably do it as well. It's on both sides of the gender side, gender barrier. Um, they will withhold access to their children from their partner after they split up for like for reasons that aren't their partner being dangerous to their children, but their partner not being in control of themselves, like say having a cannabis addiction or something like that. Um, and then they, 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 they deny their child access to their parent because of that. Um, they also use the school system to uh, back themselves in this attempt. Um, school systems are nefarious in this. One of the worst things that we've done as humans is we um, punish actions that aren't, aren't harmful to other people. And um, what what they're teaching the child here is that in order for you to be part of your family, in order for you to be a worthwhile human being, in order for you to have social interaction, you have to be a good boy. And the fact is, we're not good boys. We we, we I mean we 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 have these standards that we try to meet, and we constantly fail. That's the story of human life: is failure again and again and again and again. Now, if you inculcate this attitude into a child by saying to them, "Oh, you can't go with daddy because daddy's into cannabis. You can't go with daddy because daddy has certain flaws," then then you're teaching this child this kind of this mindset that's going to set it up for, for a pathological kind of psychology when it's older, for, for, for a psychology of being in a constant state of fear that I have to maintain these standards otherwise I won't be able to be included within society. And, and, and the problem here is, is, is that fearful state leads to a, to, to a higher rate of failure, you know, because it makes them take it more seriously. Uh, if, you, if you look at people, um, most people are, are quite successful at video games, right? And that's because when they're playing a the video game, they're not taking it seriously. They're, they're just messing around, you know? They're, 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 they feel free to take those failures. And and if you inculcate an attitude of seriousness into a child concerning these things, then you're setting them up for a fall. That's what you're doing. You're setting them up for a fall. And it's one of the main kind of problems with the working class and that. You, you can imagine the, 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 the richer people who've got million, is it millions and millions of pounds. They're like, oh, okay, then kids, you can go off. You can make mistakes. It doesn't matter. You've got a safety net. And so the child goes off. And sure enough, you, you get the really rich and wealthy people producing more and more rich and wealthy people because their children aren't scared of making making mistakes. Be, 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 because, because daddy's got a coke habit. He's a millionaire. He can afford to have a coke habit. It's fine. And, and you can interact interact with him more and all that kind of stuff it, it, it it's it, it, if if you bring up the child in a more accepting environment that that teaches it that look we're going to love you no matter what you do look at how we treat daddy he's got all these failings you know and we still love him we still accept him we still let you see him and interact with him yet yet daddy fails sometimes mummy fails too everybody fucking fails you know that's 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 the game of life, and and then and, and out of a hundred failures, you get one success, and 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 that's just the way it works. It's called the learning process. And 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 instead of making it out to be all serious, what you could do, White, right? what you could do is, is you could you 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 could teach the child how to be a, a, a loving and kind of um, beneficial kind of thing to a person that gets stuck in a rut. Because often the, the, these failings that, that are being criticised, that they come from a kind of social angst, they come from a kind of... Uh, a kind of self-hatred, right? And, and you don't make that any better by adding to it, by adding consequences to it that don't need to be there. It, it, it's like with the whole cannabis law thing. Dr. Nutt, you know, the, the government advisor for, on drug policies and stuff like that, he got sacked because he said the worst consequence of smoking cannabis is a prison sentence, right? And, and it's, it, it's like, yeah, sure, that there are these negative consequences to these drugs and these things, but you don't make it any better by adding more negative consequences. Come on. It's fucking simple. 
what you do is you try and create an atmosphere or a space within which they can be a fuck up until they stop wanting to be a fuck up. It's just it all, all these knee jerk reactions people have, and especially parents towards their kids. It, it's just damaging. It's damaging, plain and simple. Goodbye. Well, oh, yeah, it would be much better just to say to them, "Yeah, look, dad, daddy's doing something stupid." You know, he, he he's shooting himself in the foot. Uh, don't hate him for it though. Don't be angry at him for it. Don't don't ostracize him for it. You know. Show him love. Show him acceptance because that's what you will get when you mess up. Goodbye.